Ah, oh, Charlie Smith, Zong Banji, Georgia Strait. I'm Charlie Smith, editor of the Georgia Strait. I'm happy to be back for another week on WOW TV. I'm going to start with a story that we had in the Georgia Strait this week. Involved, it, it focused on solitary confinement. And this is a topic that one of our reporters, Travis Lupik, has been researching for quite some time. And there have been three deaths at Mountain Institution in Agassiz, that's a federal uh, correctional center, of inmates who were in solitary confinement. So there's going to be an inquest into these deaths, a coroner's inquest. Under the Coroner's Act, the, there must be an inquest whenever there's what's deemed an in-custody death. So these three inmates, they all committed suicide inside solitary confinement. Um, and that has raised concerns from some people in the broader community about what's going on and why is this happening and how much time are people spending in solitary confinement. And it turns out there was one review done that showed over a certain review period nearly a quarter of federal inmates were serving part of their sentence in solitary confinement. And Travis was also able to interview an inmate in Edmonton who had actually spent time in solitary confinement and he was talking about just how incredibly boring it is that you end up looking at a spider web and focusing on that and so that's going to be a big issue when the inquest begins that'll be in Burnaby beginning on March 10th so that's a story that will probably be getting more attention in the weeks to come.